what we're doing now is you've got your gather stitches in here and we pulled the top thread through to the bottom so they're both on the same side and I'm going to do this one here and all you have to do is pull this up like that and get a hold of this loop that loop is your top thread and pull it through and you get them both both on the same side okay and we'll do this on each roll of stitching and then we'll tie one side off Let's see pull that through loop and you do this on both sides this side and this side two threads that you because you pulled the top thread through to the back side and then where you pulled those through you're tying those off on one side of the bodice only that just keeps that from when we go together on the other side at the other then it'll keep it from pulling through so this is all time consuming here but they didn't do things fast in the old days anyway <laughs> they weren't uh, like us nowadays we start to make something and we need it tomorrow <laughs> they caught more ahead than that <laughs> Have the bodice front sewn to the lining, which happens to be the same color. Now, what this has, if you can't, it's hard to see. See, it's all gathered all the way down the front. So, it's this nice width has been sucked in. There's just tons, see, gathers, and they're all sewed. Every option, mom is clipping off the, the string. So, see what we got. Then it's gathered up at the shoulders, but these are just so far, these are just kind of here. They haven't been pressed or made into pieces or anything like that. I mean, no, that's not done yet. But it says in the pattern, well, vaguely, um, <laughs> that you you do these, and then you come down and you put all these, get all these gathers in down here at the bottom, and then you sew them across on our lines that we sew across before you sew based around the outside the edges. Well, we found that it was easier with that much material gathered. We went ahead and pinned it and based and left our half an inch, our half inch, yeah, around the space edges. around the edges where it's gonna, you know, turn under. We left that, and then it was, it, then we were able to lay the um, the gathers out more evenly. Made it a lot easier. Yeah. So I mean, we haven't really shown the pattern too much but this is the pattern this is not a <laughs> not like a I uh, said it's not a it's not a traditional <laughs> no it's not a traditional pattern um showing you step by step it just tells you and you have to figure it out it's written as as it was in the 1840s at least it's in english because it's a german pattern yeah so i read some german but not that good so just for anybody who decides to put something together like this, we do the edges, then sew across your gathers. Hi, I hope you're enjoying our little section on making a German day dress. We've had fun doing it. It has been a challenge, I have to say. Part two will cover putting the skirt together and putting it on. 
I'll show you the final product with the petticoat and the hat that matches. We will show you how to put the sleeves in and put the jockeys on the sleeves. So please leave us some comments, questions, and uh, I do hope you're enjoying it. So stay tuned for part two of making a German day dress. Thanks for watching from Red Duchess Farm.